We've recently introduced Timelines in Spline, a new way to bring your 3D scenes to life with keyframe animations. With Timeline, you can animate properties such as position, rotation, scale, and more in a smooth and flexible way. Let's take a closer look at how Timeline makes it easier to control the timing and flow of your animations. First, let's take a look at the Timeline UI. In the toolbar, you'll find a clock-shaped icon, the Timeline Toggle. Click it to open the Timeline panel at the bottom of the screen. From there, you can start adding and adjusting keyframes to build your animation. In the Timeline UI, you can see both an overview and detailed information about your animation. On the left, you'll find the Timeline name, which can be renamed by double-clicking. You can add more timelines using the plus icon to organize different object groups or multiple animation types for the same object. To remove a timeline, hover over its right side and click the delete icon. At the top, you can play or pause the animation by clicking the play button or by pressing the spacebar. Next to the play button, you can set the animation duration. It's five seconds by default, but you can customize it. The animation will only run within the defined duration. You can turn looping on or off depending on whether you want the animation to repeat in the preview. The graph editor lets you fine-tune animations by adjusting the speed and easing of keyframes. We'll go into more detail on the graph editor later. Finally, you can resize the timeline viewport by dragging it to a preferred position. To zoom in on the timeline, pinch outward on a trackpad or hold Command or Control and scroll the mouse wheel up. To zoom out, pinch inward on the trackpad or hold Command or Control and scroll the mouse wheel down. To move the timeline horizontally, swipe on the trackpad or hold shift while scrolling the mouse wheel. Click the play button to preview changes in real time or scrub the playhead for a more precise preview. You can click on the timeline and drag the playhead to the time you want. To quickly jump to a specific time, hold shift and click near the spot you want and the playhead will snap to the nearest 0.5 seconds. Next, let's see how to create an animation with the timeline. If this is your first time visiting the Timeline UI or your object has no animation, you'll see some preset animations to help you get started quickly. Select an object, then choose a preset to apply the animation automatically. You can apply the same preset to multiple objects at once. If no object is selected, the preset will be applied to the first object in the Outliner panel. To create an animation manually instead of using a preset, select an object, click the Animate button, and choose the property you want to animate. Currently, you can animate properties like position, rotation, scale, shape size, material, opacity, cloner, align to path, and extrusion when selecting a path. For the latest details, take a look at the spline docs, which are updated regularly. After applying an animation, you'll see at least two or more tracks, the object track on top and the properties track below. The object clip contains all property keyframes and transitions, so its total duration is determined by the combined durations of its property keyframes and transitions. Drag object clips and property keyframes slash transitions to move them along the timeline. Hold shift to snap clips in 0.5 second increments. To adjust the length of an object clip, go to the start or end, click, and then drag. By resizing the object clip, the keyframes and transitions will be scaled proportionally. Inside a properties clip, you'll find keyframes and transitions. Keyframes define where and how your object looks. Each property's transition has at least two keyframes. 
To modify a keyframe, select the object, select the keyframe, and modify the object in the 3D viewport. The changes will update in real time. If the property has no keyframe yet, a new one will be added automatically. Alternatively, you can select the keyframe to open the panel in the top right corner where you can adjust its value. You can set multiple keyframes along the timeline to create more dynamic and complex animations. Move a keyframe to change its timing or drag a transition between keyframes to move the entire segment. To delete a keyframe, select it and press the delete key. To delete a single property animation, delete it near the corresponding property. To delete an object's animation, click the delete icon next to its name. To animate transform properties like position, rotation, scale, and shape size, select the object, go to the timeline UI, click the animate button, choose position, and now you can adjust the values directly in the properties panel or the 3D viewport. A keyframe will be added automatically at the current playhead position. If the property hasn't been added to the timeline, when you make a change, it will be added automatically. For proportional scaling, lock the aspect ratio before adjusting the scale. The change will also apply to the keyframe. Alternatively, you can adjust these values directly in the properties panel. To add a material animation, go to the timeline UI, click the animate button and choose material. All material layers will be added to the timeline. You can adjust the materials at any keyframe. If the object uses a material asset, it will be automatically unlinked when animating. This is because animating the material in the timeline requires unlinking the asset. You can also animate your custom camera to create cinematic animations. Before adding an Align to Path animation, make sure the object is already aligned to the path. For example, you can add a sphere, go to the Modifiers panel, and set it to align with the desired path. Then go to the Timeline UI, click the Animate button, and select Align to Path. After that, you can adjust parameters such as offset and slide, and a keyframe will be added automatically. This will create an Align to Path animation like in this example. Path extrusion only works when a path is selected. To create a path extrusion animation, click on Animate and select Path Extrusion. Then adjust its parameters. For example, if you want to animate the path from the start point to the end point, go to zero seconds and set the depth to zero. Then move to the end and set the depth to one. This will create a path animation along the selected path. You can also adjust other properties to create different effects. All right, now let's look into the graph editor. The graph editor allows you to fine tune your animations by adjusting the speed and easing of keyframes. Click here to open it and choose a property to edit in the graph editor. Now, the horizontal axis represents time and the vertical axis represents the value of the animated property, such as position, rotation, or scale. Keyframes appear as points on the curve and the curve between them shows how the motion is interpolated. Handles on each keyframe let you adjust easing and acceleration, allowing you to create smooth, natural, or dynamic movements. For example, a straight line indicates linear motion, while a curved line creates an easing effect. 
The graph editor lets you fine-tune timing beyond just setting keyframes, controlling speed, easing, overshoot, bounces, and more. This helps make animations feel natural instead of robotic. To achieve precise adjustments, hold shift and move the curve directly in the graph editor. You can also select multiple keyframes and adjust them at the same time. After setting up all the animations in the timeline, you won't see them in play mode unless you add an event to trigger the timeline. Go to the events panel and select the event you want to use. Here, we select the default start event, which plays the timeline when the scene first loads. You can also use other events to trigger a timeline animation. Next, go to action and select timeline animation. In the timeline animation settings, you can choose which timeline to trigger and set options such as delay, repeat, loop, and cycle. If you have used spline before, these will be familiar. Let's go to play mode to preview. Now the timeline animation is live. A small tip, you can use the ping pong option, which is useful for animations that need to play back and forth. If you want to trigger multiple timelines with the same event, click the plus icon to add another action. Once the design is ready and you are ready to export, click the export button in the top right corner of your scene panel. In addition to the regular export options like URL or code, you can also export a single timeline animation. Select the video option and choose the timeline you want to export. Set the duration, FPS, and resolution for your project as needed. Spline supports 4K video export, which is useful for producing high quality videos for your projects. With timelines, you can animate objects smoothly, tweak keyframes with the graph editor, and bring your ideas to life exactly as you imagined. It's fast, intuitive, and gives you full control over complex scenes. We're excited to see the amazing creations you'll make with timelines. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.